All right, I gotta get going here on tearing this all down to get it all fixed. So I gotta get the oil drained, the clutch oil and bevel gear, all that oil's gotta come out. I gotta get the gas drained and get the gas tank off. I gotta take off that big filter and the top of the uh, steering booster and then pull the steering booster out. And then I gotta take off the whole upper clutch housing and then I can pull out the clutches and drums and brakes and bevel shaft that all should come out as one. So that's what I got going on. Uh, to take the oil out, the guys on the forum were saying that I need to warm the oil up first before I drain it to make sure I get all the contaminants out of it. So I'm going to run the machine back and forth a couple times. And then I got to drain that oil out. It's supposed to hold 17 and a half gallons of oil. I need a big oil pan. Okay, I got to get the oil warmed up and that, uh, all the clutch oil. So I'm going to run the machine back and forth a number of times until everything starts to get warm. Uh, I'm going to try, try out this cold start again. So this time I'm going to give it more gas. Because that's what it needed last time. Let's see. So to drain the oil on this thing, there's a plug underneath. Holy cow. Look at that. That's that hydraulic fluid from that cylinder that's broken. <laughs> that sucker's really leaking. Anyway, that's the plug there. That's a big old square drive. It's a three-quarter square drive. It's this hose that's leaking more than the cylinder. Well. Cylinder's got a leak though too. Luckily I got some tools here that have been getting passed down in the family uh, from my great uncle that used to have a farm. These are some old American tools, uh, some breaker bars. They're, uh, let's see, this is a Craftsman. It's a, uh, Snap-on. And this one's really cool. It's a Williams. I like these old American tools. They're built really well. This one, the drive on it, will ratchet, uh, like that's loosening up a bolt, and that's tightening it. So that's probably what I'm going to use there. That's a three-quarter drive on that thing. <sighs> what am I doing here? Oh, I'm tightening it. Wrong way. Let's pull it. Like this. <coughs> oh.
Here it comes. Holy cow. Hope that kiddie pool will hold 17 and a half gallons. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Okay, now I gotta drain the gas tank. I think this is to shut the fuel off. I'm guessing that this is where you drain it. I got this little setup rigged up here. And where's the fuel, man? Oh, there it is. Holy shit. Um, it's getting everywhere. There's gas getting everywhere. That's no good. That is no good. Ah, it's just getting worse. Fuck. Well, that was eventful. Take two. Alright, I'm gonna shut this valve. Got my favorite tool of the job here. There we go. Time to take this tank off. Moving. Mm. Ah. There you are.
Okay, I think I'm going to need to take this cross member out of here, possibly this, but hopefully just that to be able to lift out the rest of it. I had to throw down some concrete forms here, it was really sucked walking on all that diesel gas. Okay, by the help of Thor's hammer, I've removed that sticky steel. Now, I gotta remove all of that. But, I wanna clean up all this gunk. I mean, there's like piles of gunk all over everything. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put these covers back on because I'm going to get out the pressure washer and finish it off. I just didn't want to blast all that crap down in the belly pans. I'm trying to come up with a game plan to get the oil out of there so I can do the pressure washing. I think I'm going to scoop it out with this, dump it into this, and then pick this up and dump it into there.
How's that look? Mmm. Nice and clean, huh? I'm wondering if this really dark oil is more than just from the brakes going out, if it's a sign that those clutches are getting pretty darn worn. They still function, but I did notice that when I put it in gear, the machine won't move unless I really throttle or open the throttle up a lot. I don't know if they're supposed to always move if the clutches are good. Or if you throttle them down, if they'll stop like that. So, I don't know. Maybe somebody let me know. If you've got one of these old power shifts and you know what the symptoms are of clutches wearing out. I'm panning for gold here. Yeah, it looks like more of that gasket material. There are a bunch more chunks of, I'm sure that's brake band, or brake pad, yeah, there's a bunch of them in there. <laughs> That'll do, pig. I guarantee you that thing ain't had a bath like that in a long time, if ever. I got most of the junk out of there. Some of that stuff ain't coming out for nobody. Jesus. But I got it to where I can work on it now. It's been a long day, man. That was a lot of work. My hat's off to you uh, heavy equipment guys. I don't know, you guys probably would have whipped that out in a couple hours, but that was a lot of work getting to this far.